Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me. I have had camera issues going on today. I put in my battery and it gave me like three minutes of life and then decided it was done. So I had to order a new camera battery. Hopefully that's the extent of the issue. But now I'm here just recording this on my iPhone. So um, different angle, different look. Hope that's okay with you. Lighting is kind of uneven, sorry about that, but we are gonna just sort of breeze through things today. These favorites for the month of June, I would call them like practical must-haves, okay? They are all things that really like serve a very straightforward function. Um, it amounts to, as you can see on my face right now, a fairly simple makeup routine, but they're effective and I like what they do. And it's the dog days of summer right now. We can use, you know, a light, easy, simple makeup routine, right? I've also been sneezing my head off this morning. I don't know why, like it's not a cold, it must be some kind of allergy thing. Everything's just going great today. Uh-oh, sirens. Oh, goodness. The coverage products I've been loving. This Dermablend CC Cream, the Continuous Correction SPF 50. Amazing coverage with this one. Um, it is, I think, kind of like a natural matte finish, but it just goes on beautifully. It blends easily. It's like a lighter product for Dermablend, but yet it's still completely full coverage. Um, I don't feel like I get enough moisture out of this for it to be absolutely everything to me. You know, I definitely put on some moisturizer underneath, but I was applying this recently in a video and I think it's absolutely fantastic, but I couldn't also ignore, whoa, hello earthquake, uh, Kiko Milano. This is my full coverage two-in-one foundation and concealer, and that's what I'm wearing today. And this is actually a little lighter coverage than this CC cream, um, a little bit more luminosity in the finish, but it's just, it's so beautiful. And I really feel like it's very skin-like. I greatly enjoyed putting this on the Kiko Milano video paired with another favorite favorite, the Kiko Milano Stick Concealer. This is called Universal Stick Concealer. And I love this. It's like the size and shape of an eyeshadow stick, right? You just twist it up. I've, I'm in the shade 04 in this. Ooh, I should probably also share 35N in this. And the Kiko Milano is in 35. 35N and 35. Okay, but I'm wearing both of these and I feel like it's kind of, it's a little bit lighter look. This has beautiful coverage, but it's not like completely blanking out everything, you know, and it has that little bit of a glow. And then this concealer, it blends like an absolute dream, easier than any stick concealer you've ever picked up. And then with the precise size, it's like, oh, you'd like to get around the nose? Okay, anywhere you wanna go. It's just really perfection. I love it. It may not be quite as intense coverage wise as like an e.l.f. camo concealer, which I've used a lot of this as well. But for quick, basic, easy summer makeup, I think it's still great. Here's another thing I've been using like crazy. This Beauty Blender little puff here. What's up with this? This pats in powder so beautifully. What I'm wondering is like, how should I wash it? It's satiny on the inside. It's got another texture here, which I think they said you can use for makeup application. And then this velour feeling type side on the other. And patting powder on the under eye has been amazing with this. Also, powder. <laughs> this Dermablend powder is freaking invisible. Like, I just have the sample size of this. I've had it for quite some time, but I started using it a little more recently. I guess this caused me to think about it. And it is truly so undetectable. Like, I've really been loving the Urban Decay Loose Powder, the All Nighter Loose Powder as well. But this is really good too if you, if you just want a quick set of the T-Zone. Like, what I mean by undetectable is it mattifies and it takes away like tacky texture, but you truly can cannot see this powder at all. It's really good. I love it. Here's a blush that I think is so, so pretty. It's from MAC and it's Sweets for My Sweet Extra Dimension Blush. It's the kind of blush where you put your brush in, okay, it's kicking up absolutely nothing. You know, it's not a really soft formula to put your brush into, but then you put it on the cheeks and it's like, okay, it's got so much glow infused in it and that rosiness. I really, really like this blush. And in the spirit of staying powder, you know, we're talking being practical here, having long wear. I will layer it over any cream blush. Like today, I use the RMS Beauty Lip to Cheek in Lost Angel. Just anything that gives you a little more texture on the skin to work with. You can even stick one of those.
those putty blushes from e.l.f. on your cheeks and then top it off here and the staying power is so much better. But we're talking glowy, rosy blush. I really, really like that stuff. This Catrice, this Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. This actually has shimmer particles in it that you shake up into the bottle. And I'm not even wearing highlighter today, but I feel like it's giving the skin a lot of glow. So I wanted to mention that. Plus, I think it helps staying power too, but you will really see an effect from say four to five mists all over the skin with this. And usually Catrice sells really squatty sizes of setting spray, but this is a nice larger size. Brows today, the Brow Fast Sculpt from Maybelline. I've talked about this so much, but this is all I have in my brows. You're going to use the flat side of this brush that carries the product. You're going to go through with that and then use the longer side bristles, which basically act like a bare spoolie. Like this cleans the product off so well. You can use that longer side just to like make sure everything gets evenly pulled through the brows. It's great. It holds like nothing else. It's so, so good. Even if you want to just layer up um, on top of any kind of pencil that you love using every day or a pomade or whatever, this is a great last step or it can be like today for me, the only step. Also Clinique Duos, day in to date, I have a full video talking about this eyeshadow duo and how wonderfully basic it is, but how beautiful it is for actually day in to night if you want it to be that way. It's got this pretty like rosy plummy brown. It's so gorgeous. And then this shade like absolutely glows. The textures are really special in that they're not complete matte. They've got just the teeniest bit of a sheen to it, like kind of a satin finish, I'd say. I guess that's what it's closest to, even though maybe it seems a little more matte than that. But I loved using this in that video. I thought the eye look was gorgeous. This shade shears out so beautifully in the crease, um, outer corner, smudgy liner. It's probably my favorite duo I have because I've gone on a rampage with these duos. I've got quite a few others like six more. Um, and there's one more that I think is a favorite now, and it's Strawberry Fudge. This is kind of like day into date, but lighter. I'm wearing Strawberry Fudge today. Don't get too consumed by the thought that this is pink, because it actually applies more like a soft gold. If you look at it there, see how maybe, yeah, there's a little bit of pinky, but that's on my lid, and it just looks like soft gold to me as I look in the mirror. And then this shade here, we're talking sort of taupey, rosy bronze. Again, with the rosiness infused but it's not as dark as day in to date. So if you tried this, if you like this, um, that's wonderful, but you want a little lighter take on it, a little less contrast between the two shades. Granted, this is only going to get so dark. You know, this is about as dark as it gets what you see in the outer corner, but I love it. And I remembered getting it in like a free gift with purchase way back in the day. And I'm just kind of happy to have it again. But if you want even more on these duos, I have even more that I could talk about. Let me know if we need a full video on these because the quality is exceptional. They're really great. I'm stopping. I'm blowing my nose. I'm restarting. I'm just having quite a day here. Okay, lashes. Let's just, come on now. Let's just look at this stuff here. The lashes. They're beautiful, okay? We're talking Estee Lauder Little Black Primer immediately after you curl because that's gonna lock in the curl-like hairspray. And then the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume. If you have any issues with this flaking, top off with another, top off, top top off with another coat of the little black primer. It acts like a seal for things. So this is well worth your money just to have this and use it with any of your mascaras, but it really like Oh my gosh, I love it with this. Sculpted volume, really like I talked about this in my um, bite size review video, talking about some drugstore gems. This is the closest thing to superhero. It builds up darn near as fast as superhero does. Um, the only thing about it is the curl holding. That's why it sometimes needs the partner. But if you have sparse lashes, you don't want to be taking tons of time to rake through over and over again because that makes the lashes stick together. So you want something that bulks them up quickly and that's exactly what this does better than any of the other Lash Princess mascaras. Finally, guys, what I've been doing for lips is kind of like starting off, like after my skincare, I've been using this Buxom Plump Shot, which is a beautiful product. Um, it feels thinner and a little lighter on the lips than the actual Buxom lip polishes, but yet there is kind of like a moisturizing thickness coming from this. You really will feel a tingle for several minutes, maybe up to five minutes, and then it subsides and it just feels nice and cooling. It's kind of fascinating, like the sensations you will go through, the roller coaster of feels you will have with this stuff. But by the time I get to the end of my look, like I've done all my other face steps, I pop on just a lip liner on top and it's the easiest thing ever, but I've got moisture 
and I've got this pretty like rosy color. It's Revlon Raisin, y'all. Revlon Color Stay. Um, I'm sorry, I've been wiping my nose. I've probably been wiping off some lip color, but it's so pretty. Somehow it takes your look up a notch to a little more glam place, but use any lip liner you like. And um, I find the lip liner stays wonderfully, but I've got beautiful moisture under there as well. So that's my favorites, guys. Shot in a really unusual way. I'm sorry to have to do it like this. I felt like I was brushing because I'm, again, with clips, getting all these clips onto my computer. I don't often do that except for vlogging, and I know that it takes a while. Thank you for bearing with me. We'll be back to normal soon. Um, maybe you like this background. I do kind of like the chair and the lamp and the mirror and stuff. Um, maybe this was God's way of exposing me to a new backdrop. But thank you guys so much. I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.